Hi, Cancer. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so how is Cancer coming into the reading? How is the Cancer coming into the reading? Bless Cancer with a message. How is Cancer coming into the reading? The Nine of Wands. So you could be looking back at something, not wondering. Well, you're wondering if you should put more energy, effort, time into something. You haven't really left it alone energetically. Now, you may have left this thing, this person alone physically, but you still think about, should I go to the past? Should I go to the past person? Should I go to the past job or whatever this may be? It's like you, your energy is in the past here. It's like you're not really resting in the now, in the present and you really can't see what the future holds because you're still looking backwards. This card talks about um, you really asking yourself, uh, should I fight for this? This relationship, this job, this whatever this is. Something has been an everyday um, uphill battle, an everyday struggle. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or someone with Sagittarius in their chart. Let's see what the advice is for cancer. What's the advice? It may be around the Sagittarius season, December, November, something will happen. The advice is the King of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. So you need to go after your heart's desire. You need to make a decision, especially if it's about love. You have options, but you know you need to make a decision about who and what you're going to put your energy, effort, time into that is the advice here. You're looking at something from the past and you might even have options before you. What is the outcome if Cancer takes the advice of the cards? Okay, you get two cards, the Four of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. So it looks like successful completion of a project. Maybe you get your twin flame soulmate. Someone lives with you or you guys reconcile. Reunion happens. Um, you go on a date. You elope. It talks about eight of pentacles, marriage later in life, marriage and travel later in life. So this could be for some of my people 35 and older, 30 and older. I don't know. Um, so it looks like if you take the advice of the cards to make the decision, decide on who you want, who you want to put your energy, effort, time into, be consistent, okay? Um, make a pact with yourself first. Then it looks like you get complete happiness. You get um, get what you want. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have the two of swords. So yeah, you know a decision needs to be made here, but you're also at a place of, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to decide yet. Uh, I'll give it more time. I'll wait till things settle down. Um, you know that reconciliation is on the table, but you know you both have to be in in cooperation. You have to negotiate uh, what it is you will accept or what it is you want. This is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.